Yo, what the fuck is up? It's Xy Mike Cansey here, and um, today I'm in, a, I'm in a really great fucking mood because uh, Rachel might be getting an STI, fucking sexy car. So uh, hell yeah, that's got me in a good mood, and even the better mood. Here we are at Fuji, fucking um, great fucking track. Um, only thing about this video is there's no fuck up cams because uh. Like in the other videos, I was testing shit out. I was trying to figure out if I can make them faster, and I can. And they're longer. So fucking, we're going to see more racing action, more fucking kicking ass, and more wipeouts, or more fuck-ups, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. But right now, someone who's not fucking up, who's proven that uh, Fuji is his bitch, is Dragon, and he's in first spot. And uh, pretty much raping everybody. <laughs> As his teammate King is right behind him. Fucking third place, I believe that might be me. That I can't really see, but it's alright. And fourth place is Shag, and fifth place is me. Mike Kansi, what the fuck's up? But, um, hell yeah, here we go. Fucking 500, second race of season four. Um, I hate this track, as you guys know. Dragon clearly doesn't, and neither does King, because they are pulling away from the field. At least trying to, as those sexy Loctite NSXs, we... Those fucking cars, man. They're fucking fast, they're nice, they're sexy. I kind of looked at the Kata ones, but... I don't know, I like those too. I like red. <laughs> Speaking about red, third place and fourth place, fucking Dark Horse Sport, fucking right there with Shag and Mead. Hell yeah, and then someone almost just wiped out and drifted that turn. I couldn't fucking see who that was. That may have been Kevin Conway. But, uh, not too sure on that. As Dragon's gonna lead the first lap here. And he proved how dominant he was in the fucking, uh, prototype race. As we fucking watch, I believe. Yeah, Dragon and King just draft into turn one. Fucking own this track. As you see Ryan Mead right there trying to catch up sideways. is hanging up. And so far in the second lap, it looks like six cars are pulling away from fucking everybody else. So, nice little six car cluster fuck right now for the lead. At least trying to keep up with the leaders. As everyone goes into the runoff area. Fucking this track just takes a while to get used to, apparently. <laughs> but fucking you see the gap from sideways to, I think that might be Amp Irish in 8th or 7th or I can't really tell. Maybe Great God Zeus. Can't really see, but it's alright. But, um, yeah. Sideways at the end of the pack trying to keep going as we watch Great God right here with his teammate Amp Irish right behind him trying to pull away. As you see the gap, not that big, but still it's frustrating when you're trying to, <laughs> trying to go and you're just getting nowhere. <laughs> As it looks like Ryan Mead's catching up to King and Dragon a little bit. Not by much, but maybe a tad. As we see Cansey and Shag and Sideways right there trying to work together and catch back up. As uh, one of the new rules for Season 4, there's no more cautions. So if you fuck up, you better uh, <laughs> you better hope it's not that bad. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to pretty much fuck you. As we're watching the other two teammates from Dragon Motorsports right now with Kel and Gleason back in last. Um... Not really sure what happened between these two, but it's alright. We got two Dragon Ball Sports cars, first and second, and the other two were fucking 12th and 11th, I believe. So, up in the front and two at the rear. Hell yeah. As you see me trying to hang in their draft and catch up, and then you see the little gap between fourth spot right there with me shagging sideways. And uh, some of the camera angles here I really love. Like this one, look how sexy that looks. I mean, look at that. That's awesome. Ain't that badass? <laughs> As you see everyone behind them trying to catch up, trying to not, not fuck up, <laughs> at least. Uh, sideways is just chilling. It looks like Dragon's pulling away from King a little bit. Ryan Mead's trying to hang up in there. So glad to see a uh, Nissan GTR up there hanging out with the NSXs, which are so fucking dominant. As Shag decides to take up some dirt right there. And here, this is something new, I'm gonna say it again, just because, you know, I'm doing all this weird shit lately in the videos, but, uh, yeah, this I'm gonna pop up a couple times, it's gonna say, like, you know, who has the best lap, who's beating who, where at, like, the sectors, and what lap they're on, and all that shit, and we're gonna use it to see if anyone's gaining anybody, or losing, or pulling away, or, you know, all that fucking high-tech lap bullshit stuff. <laughs> but, yeah! As fucking now King is still be in second spot behind Dragon. 
Uh, third spot still Ryan Me, Mike Hansi's in fourth, and Shag's up in fifth. As we go back up to Dragon, who's been the dominating force all year so far. Well, year, probably just this race. I'm still thinking about season three and how he just fucking raped everything. As, uh, who's gonna rape the, uh, lab time and who's gonna have the fastest lap? I'm gonna guess an NSX. That's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> As it might be, as I see a 136, like, it's kind of hard to tell what the lap times are. Like, I just see 136, like the top three cars. So, <laughs> hell yeah. Glad to see that works out. But, um, it looks like Dragon and King might be pulling away from Ryan Mead a little bit. Hopefully, that's not the case, but Mead doesn't look to be behind them anymore. <laughs> as they are just fucking dominating right now. And they're still in the show, so Dragon Motorsports, trying to make up for last week, fucking got fucked. And uh, King wasn't too happy. King definitely had the dominating car at Daytona, led half the fucking race, and then uh, got together with fucking Sideways. Racing accident, but coming off the final turn to the checkered flag and caused all hell, that heartbreaker for him. Definitely had a dominating car. And, uh, I guess shit happens. <laughs> so he's trying to make up for it this week. As you see me now getting wheeled in by Kansi Shaggin sideways. As now this group's gonna battle for third, maybe. As everyone's just trying to chug along here. As you see the gap from, uh, King to Mead right there. Nice little sizable gap. Nothing too big, nothing too small, you know. And then you see the gap from sideways to Amp Irish. So everyone's just kind of running their own pace right now, trying to survive, not fuck up, and hopefully be at the end for uh, maybe contend for a win or maybe a top five. As we see everyone go past the line here, Shag's car fucking getting a nice little draft from Kanzi. Going to go into this turn at just about 175 maybe. As you see sideways right there, slow down, make that turn, not lose a draft, get a little into the green, and haul ass off that corner. As you see the next group of cars behind him, not that much of a gap, but eh, it's it's sizable, I guess. Fuck it. <laughs> As dirt's everywhere, fucking shit's kicking up, fucking hell yeah. As we go to this sexy camera view, and you see Kansi and Shaq seem to have caught Mead, but we're going to jump back to a uh, sixth spot or seventh spot, and we're going to watch Amp Irish here battle with his teammate Great God Zeus here. As God is all over the place, fucking drifting and shit. But he's gonna hang on to eighth spot, fall right behind the Amp Irish, and try to catch up to uh, the top six. As now that's a nice little four car pack. Uh, what happened to Gleason and Kale? <laughs> we don't know. As you see, Irish or what was that? Great God Zeus got a little in the dirt right there. Uh, Panos is right there who did not have a great starting position and that's gonna play a huge role now in the races. If you don't start up in the front, you better hope to God that something happens up in the front so uh, you don't get fucked. <laughs> and then we got Kevin Conway ro rounding out the top 10 and that sexy Takata Dome. Damn, I missed that fucking thing, but hell. <laughs> As it looks like Conway's just trying to survive. He had a nice little strong run last weekend uh, in the TC series and the... Uh, 500 series, so maybe looking for back-to-back -back top fives, back-to-back -to -back top tens. He's uh he's cruising, <laughs> as he's gonna get a nice little draft from Pano. Says it looks like Great God's gonna go under Amp Irish, but we're gonna turn to Gleason here, who lost the draft, and um these two cars. I don't know if they just didn't have the setup or if they got together and wrecked, but it kind of hurts Dragon Motorsports a little bit. I mean, it's nice to have two cars up in the front, but it's always nice to have all your cars up in the front. As you see where Kel is on the track, he is pretty far behind. And with no cautions, it kind of hurts. As we jump back up to the leaders, it looks like Dragon's still in first place. Maybe pulling a little bit away from King. Not too much, though, as King is right there. But without a doubt, these two are definitely hauling ass around this track. And definitely fucking pulling away from third spot. So it looks like it's going to be a nice little classic Dragon Motorsports battle here. As King is just going to cruise, fall behind Dragon, just ride it out, run some laps, battle Dragon maybe for the win, not have a nice little points day, no mistakes, no spin outs, no fuck ups, and uh, just cruise. As it looks like he's just cruising now behind Dragon, he's going to get a nice little draft coming off the final turn here. 
And we're going to jump back to Ryan Mead and Mike Canty and Sideways and Shaq. As this group of cars are now all together, as Mead is still in third spot. Canty's going to get a nice little draft from uh, Sideways. Actually got around Shag for fifth. So they're going to draft and let's see if any of them try to make a move. As it looks like they're all just going to stick together and draft going about 180 into the first turn. But... It looks like Sideways wants third spot as he jumps down low, and he might take it. But we're going to jump back up to King here, as now he caught Dragon, and we might have a battle for the lead. As just look at the gap between fucking these two and third spot. Hell yeah. <laughs> Clearly, you can see who had the faster cars here. <laughs> as uh, Dragon Motorsports clearly brought their right game this week. As they're just cruising. King's right there, but we're going to jump to lap 18. Why 18? Because I felt like going to lap 18, I guess. What did we miss? Absolutely nothing. Um, We missed one pit stop. Wasn't that bad. Nothing really changed. Everyone's still kind of there. The biggest thing that probably happened was King actually got into the rumble strips, I think, and spun out and did a 360 and kept going. Um, So that's why Dragon's all by himself now. And pretty much is dominating here. As we go to King right here, who's not that far behind, but one slip up really cost, cost, can cost you. So after everyone pitted, everyone cycled through. Um, Sideways is on a totally different schedule than everybody else. He actually came in at uh, lap 9. So as you see how bad his tires are compared to the next car we jump to, which would probably be Ryan Mead, who is back in 4th spot. Ah, to Shag, holy shit. Shag's in 4th, and Mead's back in 5th. And Candy's back in six. So as we watch Shag right here, as he had a great fucking pit stop. Every, that whole group of cars were together, but Shag's guys got him out first. And Shag's gonna try to catch up to Sideways here and take third spot away. At least try to. As now he's just cruising around these corners, and we're gonna jump to his teammate Ryan Mead, who has Candy all over his back bumper. And it looks like these two are now gonna try to draft and maybe catch up to Shag. As Kansi's going to get a nice little run. And it looks like Sideways is coming down the pit. With only about six or eight laps to go here. Sideways is going to come in, get some fresh tires, and keep going here. And hopefully, maybe maybe Sideways is trying a new schedule or a new fucking strategy here. As we watch him take four tires, get some gas. And he's going to be out on his way. He's going to sadly drop all the way back to maybe about 11th or 10th spot. But maybe he has something up his sleeve. As everyone else can probably make it the rest of the way. Or they might be a couple laps short. But right now Dragon, it's all Dragon show right now. <laughs> As he's first by a good amount too. Coming into that fucking hairpin right turn. And then up the hill, as you see where King is on the track. As King's just getting into the turn now. He's not that far behind, but... You know, one little mistake cost King maybe a shot to battle with Dragon here. But who knows, there's still a couple laps left to go. Dragon could mess up, or something else could happen. You never know. So King's just kind of cruising now. Hoping for Dragon maybe to slip up. As we watch Shag right here, coming up the hill. He has a nice gap on uh, Ryan Mead and Kanzi. But it looks like Shag's going to get into the grass. Spin, tries to overcorrect it, and spins out and faces the wrong way. As Mead and Kanzi go by, what the fuck happened there? <laughs> as that has got to hurt Shag's morale. As he drops from third to fifth. He's not that far behind Kanzi. Maybe he can get a draft off him, but that hurts. That's got to hurt. It was a great, nice attempt to save, to say the least. But those rumble strips, so fucking hard to save it. And that's kind of like what happened to King a couple laps ago. And that's why King lost so much ground to Dragon. As now, Shag's going to settle in fifth spot. And hopefully not fall back to his teammate Panos. And fall back to sixth spot. Maybe Shag can catch back up here and have a nice little battle for third spot. As we go back to uh, Amp Irish here. As actually, I think that's Gleason in front of him, right? Gleason coming. No, actually, it's Kale. Kale is actually a lap down. So, how the hell did that transpire? I have no idea. So, somehow, somewhere along the line, something happened to Kale and everyone lapped him. 
I don't know. <laughs> I, I I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> but uh clearly not having a race he hoped for. Obviously. As Gleason is in the top ten now, so Gleason's trying to fight back. After a uh, slow start to say the least, as we go back up to their teammate Dragon and team owner who is just fucking beast moding it. <laughs> just fucking making this track his bitch. That's all he's doing. <laughs> As Dragon definitely has a dominating car here, winning all the poles basically, and he's already won the prototype race, so looking to make it another win. As you see the gap to King, not that far behind. And then the gap to third spot, which is me, Mike Kansi. What the fuck is up? As it looks like I passed Ryan Mead for third. So I'm going to take a sip of Mountain Dew. As Mead fucking pushes me. I'm trying to, trying to catch up to King. I don't, I, I didn't understand how two cars in that draft on that straightaway never really caught up to one car. I don't know, I didn't get that. As you see, Shag's back in fifth. He's not that far behind. But like that, like when I was sitting here driving this race or whatever, I was kind of like, well two cars okay we got a draft going faster how the fuck are we not catching anybody <laughs> as Panos is in the dirt looks like great gods in the dirt and Irish is in the dirt let's see if Kevin Conway is gonna go in the dirt and he does <laughs> apparently everyone wanted to eat some dirt in that turn as now remember sideways is on fresh tires and he's gonna use that fresh tires to eat some dirt <laughs> but <laughs> he's on fresh tires remember that so he's got the best tire wear out there, but it might be just a little too late. As now we're coming with like five or six laps to go. As Kale's back in 12th spot, one lap down. Still don't know how Kale went a lap down. Well, as we're going to check the fucking time at the line here. As Dragon goes flying by. And then we're going to watch King go flying by right here in a second. See if King is closing or maybe losing to Dragon. And then we're going to jump to Mike Kanzi and Ryan Mead who are pushing each other down the straightaway right here. Uh, maybe not pushing each other, but get, definitely getting the draft off each other. <laughs> As Mead pushes him, and we're going to jump back to Great God Zeus who's crossing the line with his teammate Amp Irish. So, there are the times at the line, and how far the gaps are between each car, and how far they are back from Dragon the leader. So, everyone's got their work cut out for him, as Sideways on those fresh tires, he's trying to catch up to his teammate, Kevin Conway, and maybe just pull away a little bit. Or maybe even catch up to Amp Irish and Great God. As it's safe to say, Kel is pretty much <laughs> out of the question here. As Dragon's just cruising. Dragon just drives these tracks like like so relaxed, not giving a fuck, not trying. Like a Sunday cruise. It's what reminds me of Dragon <laughs> when he drives and I watch it. Or we'll watch the replay. As we see King coming around here, he's I I don't know if King's catching him or if they're just staying the same distance away, but nothing really going on there. <laughs> As right now, the heated battle on the track is probably for third spot between Mike Kanzi and Ryan Mead. As Kanzi's hanging on to it. And it looks like Shag is catching up to these two. So we could have a nice little three-car fuck fest for third spot. As Kanzi hits the runoff a little bit. So does Shag? Was that Shag that was sideways? Ooh, nice save again. That time he didn't spin out, but he did a hell of a job saving it. As there's Panos right there in 6th spot. He's trying to catch up. We got Great God right here. And then... Oh, it looks like Ryan Mead has passed Mike Canty for 3rd. That didn't last long. <laughs> so hell yeah, the battle for 3rd spot. As uh, I think these are the two closest cars on the track. <laughs> As we're going to jump back up to Dragon here. Who's just cruising. Just relaxing and cruising. 
coming into that hairpin right turn. I hate that fucking turn. I hate this fucking track. <laughs> I can't wait for next week at Monaco. That should be a great fucking race. And uh, next week, guys, the videos are going to be out a lot quicker. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> they are definitely going to be out a lot quicker. As Dragon is fucking cruising and King... Looks like King is has a solid second place. I can't really tell if he's catching Dragon or not. But anyway, it's a big improvement from last week. After, you know, Daytona, it's just a crapshoot. Anyone can win that. You know, as long as you stay out of trouble and you're there at the end. And it's Mead trying to hang on to third spot with Canty all over him. And Shag, looks like he lost some time because of the little spin out. But there's still three laps to go, so he could catch back up. Anyway, it looks like this this looks like it's gonna be the top five unless someone wrecks. As Meade's trying to break Kansy's draft. As they're coming to three to go. And it looks like Kansy's gonna get a nice little run. Does he try anything? As he runs into the back of Meade, trying to get going as they break going into turn one, trying to catch up to King, but they might run out of time. As you see Shag's getting a little closer and closer and closer. As Mead kicks up some dirt right there. And we're going to jump back up to Dragon. Nothing changed up here. Dragon just has open road in front of him and behind him. So it looks like Dragon's going to come cruising to a victory if nothing happens. And it looks like King's going to have second spot locked up. If he can just hang on to it. No wrecks. No driving in the dirt. No wrecking. As there goes King. And there goes Dragon. As it's a pretty sizable gap. As now on Pit Road, we have the two amped up motorsports cars pitting, it looks. Fucking Amp Irish and Great God Zeus looked like they came down the Pit Road. Maybe got some fresh tires. I don't know, but that's going to put Sideways up two spots into seventh spot. As now Sideways doesn't have the freshest tires out there. Neither does Ryan Mead, as his tires are just about halfway. As Kanzi is still behind him. And Dragon with two laps to go. Can he hang on? Can he fucking win? Can he win back to back? Maybe sweep the weekend. As King looks like he's hoping for Dragon to fuck up. Or maybe just looking for a solid top five. Or a solid podium. As Mike Kanzi's coming up behind... Ryan Mead, and it looks like Mead turned down when Kanzi was going to bump him, and Kanzi goes by to take third with two laps to go. As Kanzi's tires are fucking... <laughs> Kanzi and Mead's tires aren't that great. And Shag is... Looks like he's saying this distance back. But if anyone wrecks, it could be big. As fucking... Me just cruising in fourth spot. Two laps to go. This is the closest battle on the track right now. With Shag not that far behind that. And not far behind Shag is Panos. And all three of those cars are teammates. <laughs> so maybe they can work something out. As Dragon's just cruising to take the white flag right here with great tire wear. Holy shit. And it looks like King's going to have a little bit worse than Dragon on tire wear, but looks like this is going to be a 1-2 finish for Dragon Motorsports if they can just make it around one more time. However, the battle for third looks like it's a crapshoot, as now Canty's pulling a little away from Ryan Mead, but with Mead maybe drafting back, maybe getting his teammate Shag, maybe they're going to plan something here. Coming on the straightaway as Dragon takes the white flag. And Dragon just cruising, just one lap, that's all he needs to do, and boom, he will be your winner here at Fuji for the 500 series. And it's fucking. Let's see, Kanzi's gonna look like Kanzi's gonna lead him down to the white flag. As Kanzi tries to break the draft a little bit, Ryan Mead's right there, as Shag's not that far behind, so if these two wreck, it could be big. As we watch Dragon come into that fucking. That asshole of a turn, fucking that left hander. I don't even know what the fuck to call it. As we go back to King, who's now going into it. 
And then we're going to jump to Kanzi, Mead, and Shag, who are now probably all together or really close as they come into the sweeping right hander. It looks like Mead and Kanzi are kind of pulling away from Shag. And here comes Dragon up the hill to get the checkered, maybe. Or the spin out and fuck him completely <laughs> on the final lap. As King is not that far behind us, we jump back up to Kanzi and Brian Mead. As it looks like they might be battling for third spot. Coming into the tight right hander, it looks like Mead's gonna cut under Kanzi. Make a little contact right there. There's side by side coming out. Looks like Mead's gonna do the crossover. Side by side again. And who's gonna come out in third place? As it looks like Mead's gonna try another crossover mood. And they're both side by side again, but it looks like Kanzi's gonna have an edge. Uh, Mead's trying the high line. As now Shag's now in the picture. So who the hell's going to take third? As Dragon takes first right here at the line. And so does King Best Jr. in second. And who the hell is going to take third? As we're watching Kansi as he comes off the corner. Let's see if he can hold off fucking teammates right here. As Shag and Mead might have something planned. It looks like Mead's going to get a run. Go low. Kansi's going to go to block. They're side by side. And I don't know. It looked like Mead got him. Yep, Mead takes home third, Kanzi fourth, and Shaq's going to finish fifth. And guys, great fucking racing at Fuji. It was a blast, and uh, peace out.